guys are having an awesome day. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial and review swatches on this new palette. This palette is the um, Born to Run from Urban Decay. It has like this nice packaging, like all about traveling and stuff. So this palette is really perfect for like the summertime and okay. I haven't played with it yet, so I'm not really gonna make the, like the full like you know review yet until I'm actually done with everything that's going on. But yeah, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and like this video and turn the bell right there so you guys can get notified when I upload a video. So I upload pretty much anything towards Mondays and Fridays now. So if you guys are into beauty, fashion, lifestyle, reviews, products, anything in general then subscribe to my channel because it's gonna be a fun ride so I did my brows and honestly these two pro like they, these two products from NYX is like one of my to go to for like brows because they're amazing and they're like only four dollars they can have like the dupes for like Anastasia brow thingy so the first thing I usually do is I put a primer on first because that's like the most important thing if you want your makeup to stay I'm gonna do just like a light foundation on my face like not too rough because it's so hot outside for like you know for my brows and stuff it's the NYX HD Studio Photogenic um, Concealer this one is CW it's like a really fair shade but it's really good it works I'm almost done with it hold on let me find like a I use this brush right here, which I got from TJ Maxx. It works great. Like any brand works, and it's only like I think it was in the bundle for like ten dollars. But yeah, I'm just gonna apply this on. It's all good, guys. I'm gonna get another one like these. I have the new um. Revolution concealer, so this is really cool. So I'm gonna apply my concealer first Because before I do my makeup I have to have my brows Like filled in, you know, have that nice perfection looking brows This is like amazing Just to blend with everything like little little tiny thing. I use this just to blend for my brows Looks like that. Nice and precise. I'm gonna use this one from Wet n Wild. Just for my base. Just like that. Very little. Br blend the um, concealer to my lid. I'm just gonna use this tape right here. I like to have a tape whenever I do my looks because it gives like a nice shape. This palette right now. So this is the Urban, like I said, this is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And then once you open it, the neutrals at the top, like shimmers, there's some mates right here, palette for you. But um, I'm ready to play with it.
So this is what I came up with with my makeup look with the Born to Run palette from Urban Decay. So overall, when I was applying it, I think it's from the brushes. It's just that it's very patchy in my, my brush, I think. So I was playing around with this color right here, which is the Still Shot. I really like that one. It applied it applied on very nicely. And um, like I said, it was really nice and settled. And it's just like a perfect shade to like play around with, with like lighter colors like if you want to go something a little bit like not too crazy like my eyes right now yeah but um i was playing around with this color right here it was a little patchy a little bit not too much but like i like it because it's still applied really well i'm gonna be buying a new brush soon because like brush sets and stuff like that because I, I don't know i just need more brush collection you know because i don't have that many brushes and i have a lot of palettes so it's kind of crazy and uh, I didn't play that much with the shades here, but I played this one, um, Baja and Hell Dro Hell Ride. Hell Ride, okay. So yeah, I've been playing with just those four colors in my eyelids. I think I did pretty okay. Too much going on in my eyes. But I was just, just like, I like to play around with makeup, even though it's kind of crazy. Um... Yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys like this look. So I'm going to be just swatching like at least 10 shades in this palette. Because I don't want to go overboard with the swatching. That's that one. So this one was Stranded. It's a pretty nice gold shade. It's like a metallic-ish. So this one is Baja. It's okay. Not too much, but I think it's like a light shade going on with it's like an orange tone, but um it shows like really light in my skin. So yeah. It's like a nice violet. Like it suits my my nails. The swatches are not like a hundred percent good, but I like them on the eyes. That's um this one is guilt trip. This one right here. And then this one is radio. Very cool. Those are the five shades. I don't know. What do you guys think of the swatches? Do you think they're pigmented? I feel like they're very... I don't know. It's just the, they're very patchy. Like, they're not, like, showing, like, OD. You know, when you see some other colors, they're very highly pigmented. I'm just going to show you as an example. Right now, in my, one of my palettes right here. That's good. So, this is, like, a $15 ColourPop. No, this is like a $15 palette, I think, or $14. So I'm going to show you guys some comparison with this one. What do you guys think? $15 palette right here or the $59 palette? We got. You guys should vote for me. What do you guys think? Which one is the best? <laughs> like I said in one of my videos in the past, is like you don't focus on the swatches. If they're good on your eyes, you don't really think about what swatches is. So... This is the shades. So this is Ignite. Ooh, very pretty. And this one is Smog, S-M-O-G. Very cute. And this one is Big Sky. It's like a little bit like my shirt, but it's like metallic. It's like that. And then the next one is this one, which is Radio. No, this one is um, Wonderlust really cute and this one is riff <laughs> but yeah this is what it looks like very cute i like the metallic shades a lot more because they're more pigmented and um yeah swatch all of them because i feel like the one right here won't really show much until you actually put it on your eyelids so would I approve this palette? I would say that it needed some, just a little bit of work. But um, overall, it's not too bad. I would say this palette is like a bit too expensive. And um, if you guys are starting out in the beauty community, I suggest that you start like somewhere that's like inexpensive. I'm going to show you guys like some of the Morphe palettes are really good. This one is good too from ColourPop. Which is like only $15. And BH Cosmetics are very affordable. And um, Coastal Sense is very affordable. Elf and stuff. NYX. All those drugstore products. High-end products out there. 
But I really like this, but I think fifty dot um fifty nine I think dollars, I think it was fifty something like that. Is a bit crazy, but I think for the amount of shades inside is not too bad. Um I really like it. I enjoyed what's inside and um get it. The bag my bag fell. So I suggest you guys get it if you have the money, but if you don't have the money, it's not really worth it. So if you guys are interested in this palette, they're I think they're they're in Ulta or Sephora right now. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you have this palette, if do you love it, do you hate it, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.